Hello and welcome back to Regiment's Operation Doctrinal Approach. We're heading into Phase 2. In Phase 1, it was kind of a slow start, capturing just one area, took some losses. Um, but with the operational authority we got, I was able to replenish a lot of those, but not all. Um, we did get the T-72s back up to full strength, and a couple of our units gained some much-needed experience. For events, I'm going to take Divisional Artillery here to get that extra artillery support I need to break through some of the entrenched positions. All right, so we have all of our forces massed uh, in Bravo right now. And it's pretty important, I think, that we capture this exit area before the end of the battle. I don't want to spend another stage in this first part of the operation. So I'll make sure I get that. I think I'm going to go straight for Charlie. I've got two artillery supports I can use right away to soften that up if needed. Um, and just try to use the mass force to punch through. So we've got everyone on the move here. Um, we do have some friendly units available for support. This BMP-1 company, I'm going to move them up here um, just to get some a better look at what's going on. I do also have a Strela unit coming up um, because they have deployed some air support against us. This river makes things complicated. When you're crossing it, that's a huge uh, defensive disadvantage and I'd prefer not to be in that situation. So far, we can't see anything. No one in sight. I've got all my TAC aids available, almost enough points to call them all in at once. So let's keep moving forward. I am a little wary of them coming up behind me. And I'm going to have everyone fast move here. There we go. And I'm going to use that cheap artillery barrage just as fast as I can. Um, it's got a two and a half minute cooldown, but it's only five points. So I'm just going to keep using it. Basically as often as I have it. It looks like it might I might not actually need it against this unit, but they are dug in. Um, so that's going to be a challenging one. Let's dismount here, get our infantry on foot so we can start to land some shots against them. Get these T-55s moving up. Keep our Strellas close. I am a little worried about a counterattack. Um, I'm leaving my flanks wide open here. And this Gepard, the Gepard is a tough unit but they're gonna be pretty heavily suppressed. And I think we already took one out. There's another gone. All right. So let's get this BTR company up into Charlie. Can't see exactly where that artillery fire is coming from. But we need to get more units into this urban area. I'm gonna put my tanks on the outskirts there. And let's get these mortars up closer. All right, so I've got something on the flank here. I've got these um, ATGM carriers that can hit anyone else that comes around this flank. I'll just position these T-72s to uh, suppress them, cover for the infantry that's going in. And I still can't see where this artillery is coming from. There we go. We've got some infantry here. Okay, that's just a... Um, anti-air unit, so I'm not going to waste artillery on it. And I'm actually going to send my fire support infantry around to the side and attack these guys from the back. We've got a lot of infantry up really close. And I think they're taking casualties. We should take this in no time at all. So I've got that tank unit on the run. And we just have one rear platoon, a weak platoon at that, two BTRs um, guarding each of these rear areas. Curious what these BMPs, there we go. Get my Strellas situated and hopefully take on some of these aircraft. All right, they're hitting me from over here, so I'm going to drop artillery on it. Oh, I missed. 
That was just sloppy. But we've got a BMP-1 company moving in. Zone captured. And now Charlie is ours. So let's get these BMPs moved up. Let's move... You know, the BTRs might actually be better on defense. So I'm going to move the BMPs up just because BMPs are going to be more heavily armored. And I'm going to drop artillery right here. You've got these guys dismounted. And I think with the amount of troops we have coming in, plus artillery, that attack should be fine. Now you got the artillery coming in. And with the artillery, plus our units, they should be pretty well suppressed. There we go, they're taking losses. We got one unit down. Their infantry are panicking. And they are counterattacking. So what can we send over that way to help? Let's get this BMP with fire support, or a BTR-70 with fire support over there. And what else can I send? I'm gonna send this BMP company up. I'm just gonna keep it moving. Is there anyone I could pull back? You know what, I'm gonna send the uh, ATGM platoon up. Uh, just a few seconds until we can get more artillery. Actually, 40 seconds, it looks like. Um, because we won't have enough points for that first one. These are Leopard 1s, so once our T-72s get in range, we should be able to handle those. Now, I have some Lukes out here. They're not going to be as tough to deal with. And we can flank these Leopard 1s with our T-72s. We've got the Jaguar retreating. So it all looks okay on that front. 15 seconds and we'll have this other um, barrage back. Not sure what's here. Zone capture. All right, let's get these guys dismounted and see what we should hit. I'm going to hit this position with my cheap artillery. All right, let's take out these tanks first. That's going to be the most important one. And let's actually get this ATGM carrier up and over. You know what? We actually took those out with infantry. That's okay. That went better than expected. 125 points. Let's call up some more T-55s. I'm a little concerned about the flanks here. Zone lost. We lost Alpha. But taking holding Alpha isn't as critical. Um, let's see. Let's get the Strella out of harm's way. I'm going to pull the T-72s back while they're still alive. And these Leopard 2s, I'm just going to drop artillery right on them. Hopefully take those out. I think we've got enough uh, mass here with our BMP company that we can just push forward. So we've got one of those tank platoons pulling back, and then we've got artillery coming in on the second one. And it looks like mortars as well. So that's gonna uh, eat away at their durability and um, hopefully force them to retreat. So now we are running low on infantry. Let's get this BMP company over here and who can I bring in? Um, let's see, a few seconds and I'll get that T-72 platoon back in. Because I don't want to leave this flank completely undefended. And there, we've got to pull that uh, ATGM company back. Because they're out of ammo, so they can't hold that position. But we do have the... Uh, BMP company holding this next stage area. So if they can keep hanging on to that, we'll be okay. I'm going to pull my Strellas back because they're taking hits. 
There we go. It's just a Luke's company, and I think our BTR company should be able to take those out. We've got mortars suppressing them. What else? I'd like to take Alpha. I think that would be really beneficial for us. I'd love the extra 100 points. I'm going to call up a company back to uh, Bravo. I'll have them start there and then bring them up. I just don't want to leave that completely undefended. All right, they are fully suppressed. Looks like they're in bad shape. Let's close the gap and finish them off. There, they're retreating. Let's capture Alpha. Now, I think the name of the game here is just to hold position. 150 points. Let's get those T-55s coming back. Let's get that fire support unit coming back. I'm not sure if I'm going to worry about India. I might just bypass it. I think the chances are probably high that I'll lose more than 100 points trying to take it. So do you have a counterattack coming? Luckily, we've got a pretty heavy um, contingent of forces ready to respond. Our mortar's running a little low on ammo, but we've got two tank platoons coming up. We have an infantry company, another tank platoon, ATGM platoon, and an infantry platoon. So we, we've got a lot of force we can bring. So there we go. Another platoon down. And hopefully our guys can get, uh, we'll have time to get dug in before um, the counterattack arrives. I'm a little nervous about where exactly this counterattack is going to come from. And I don't have fast units that I can use to respond. But I will have an artillery barrage at least. Um, let's see. I uh, don't have anti-air. Hopefully, do these guys have anti-air? They do have anti-air. So, hopefully... No? Okay. Well, they did weaken some of our BTRs but it doesn't look like they did a ton of damage. It's just a gun run from an A-10. Not sure where this counterattack is coming from. I'll have these BMPs deploy here. Get the infantry spread out. And I'll also speed it up while I wait. Not the most comforting thing, but what are you going to do? Thinking about also deploying a supply truck. Yeah, let's get the mortar pulled back. They've only got 21% ammo, so they'll run out fairly quick. And as soon as we get points back, I'll call in a supply truck. Where is this attack? Got my units dug in. So I think we should be in, in decent shape when they counterattack. Let's get the supply truck over to these units because that's the most important zone for us to hold. I will actually send... Let's throw these T-55s in that area so that they're close by. Only 25 points, not enough to do anything with. Still doing pretty good on supply. I've got everyone called in, so not really, uh, don't really need a ton of supply to reset these. Um, and I've got, there we go. There we go. So I can bring in T-55s and T-72s to flank them. And they're running into a pretty stout defense here. We're dug in. This is, looks like a Jaguar probably. Um, martyrs, which are pretty solid vehicles, but they're facing a lot of fire. And we're hitting these Jaguars from the rear as well. So that's going to be a, a tough uh, fight for them. I do not envy them getting hit from both sides. 
five minutes. And there they go. There's that martyr platoon. And we took out the jaguar platoon. So I think that went well. Let's see if we can stop here and resupply. Maybe uh, get some extra infantry out to these guys. Especially this platoon that lost a bunch of infantry. Are we going to see some infantry pop back? I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah, we've got some extra infantry coming in here. Let's see if we can get some more up to this uh, one at the exit point. So we, we've got infantry dug in just about everywhere. I don't want them to hit my supply trucks, so let's get the T-72s down. All right, and they are already retreating. Just make sure my T-72s are in cover. And these guys are pretty good on ammo. Did just set them up with a supply truck. Haven't had a chance to use my artillery yet. They are sending artillery at this T-55. So I don't know if that means they're planning to attack on this side or if it's just some pot shots. Either way, I'm going to make sure the T-55 is in cover. And I think we're in good shape. I'm a little nervous about losing this. That's really just about the only thing I think has a, a chance of derailing us right now. Once the supply truck gets up, that will um, refit some of those infantry units that lost some infantrymen. Um, also make sure they've got full ammo, though with just a minute left, I don't anticipate them being short of ammo at all. I don't think there's enough time for them to burn through all of it. Let's see, let's just drop some artillery where I think they might be hiding. See if we get any random kills. Want to see the little numbers pop up, see if we get anything. And I'm not going to use the 35.1. Um, no need to burn through that. All right, there we go. We had a much better ratio than the first battle. 20 to 38. Some really good stats from our T-72s. Um, look at that. Six infantry units, three tanks, another infantry on that BMP-1. So how does this next phase look? Well, we're moving on to Homburg. Situation report, 8 points for destruction. I wish I knew how that was calculated. We've got 200 points for refits or um, new platoons. And then we've got 4 phases to get through Homburg. So as the size of the attack became apparent, West German forces rushed elements of the 53rd Heimatschutz Brigade to further reinforce the uh, defenses. I think Heimatschutz is... Um, like a reserve or second line unit. So I'm guessing we'll see large numbers and not necessarily the best trained and most lethal troops. So I'm excited to see, uh, play through that in the next one and uh, move on to the second part of this operation. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying it and have a good one.